Hello, this is the speaking test for International English Language Testing System being conducted in Patiala, Punjab on 15th of March 2023. The center number is 193434 and the candidate is Arpit. This test is being recorded for quality and evaluation purpose. My name is Vikas Sharma. I'm going to be your IELTS test examiner today. So, may I know your full name, please? Sir, my full name is Arpit Kumar. Please call me Arpit. Arpit, uh, can I see your ID, please? Of course, sir. Here it is. Thank you. Arpit, in this first round, I am going to be asking you questions about yourself. Most of them are personal. So, Arpit, are you a student or do you have a job? Sir, I have recently completed my senior secondary education. And nowadays, I am just brushing up my communication skills. Uh, Arpit, where are you from? Well, I grew up and raised in a small town called Pundri, located in a district capital in state Haryana, which is situated in the northern part of India. Uh, would you say that it's an interesting place to live? Well, I do think so because there are so many historical temples to explore which give me knowledge about the history of my country. Apart from that, there are all kind of facilities are available, such as medical and educational. Uh, do you enjoy living there? Yes, I do because my friends are also living there and I spend so many times with them to rejuvenate and to distress myself. Let's talk about weekends. So what do you usually do on the weekends? Sir, I just spend my time with my friends to play badminton and after that we go to a cafe to eat some healthy food. Uh, do you usually do the same things on every weekend? Well, most certainly I do because my most of weekends are just planned. I just spend my time with my friends, but in the evening I just spend my also spend my time with my family to rejuvenate and to distress myself. What did you do on the last weekend? As I mentioned earlier, my most of weekends are planned. I just spend spent my time with my friends, and we did a new activity, which is we went to a cafe, uh, we we went to a cinema and watched a movie called uh, Avatar Two. Do you plan your weekends? Well, most certainly I do because my weekends are so hectic and mechanical and only the only weekends I can distress myself. So I just plan my uh, half of day with my friends and half of day with my family. So what, what do you plan to do on the next weekend? Next we weekend I also want to do the same thing because it is very interesting. Um, I just spend my time with my friends, which is very most my favorite hobby and my favorite spare time activity to do. Why? Because only on with my friends I can be myself because they, I don't have to act like a senior sincerity or disciplined student. Uh, let's talk about music. So what music do you like? Well, um, although I am like all kind of music, but, but my favorite one is uh, hip hop music because it is so fast and so many vapor such as Tupac and Eminem is famous in this field and it gave me very energetic vibe to do workout. Why? Because as I mentioned, it is very fast music and the um, beat of this kind of music is so fast and energetic, that's why. Is there a music that you dislike? Well, although I like all kind of music, but I, I don't like to listen to uh, romantic and sad music because it gave me very lazy and sleepy vibe. Why? Because I, I mostly prefer to do workout in my spare time and whenever I, um, I listen to this kind of music, it uh, gave me very ridiculous wife because um, in, I am mostly an um, energetic health conscious person so whenever I, I listen to this kind of music it is just uh, too much for me to it just uh, make my mind very sleepy that's why. Do you and your friends like same kind of music? Sir, most certainly we do because I am a very introvert person and I mostly make friends those who have same mindset as me and they like same music which is hip hop music. Is there a singer that you would like to meet in person? Yes, there is a rapper called Hamanam, which who is very famous in the whole world. He is one of the fastest rapper in the world and he can sing 240 words in one minute. I want to meet him personally. Why? Because he is my favorite singer first of all and most certainly whenever I do work out, I listen to his music. What music did you like when you were a child? When I was, when I was a child, I preferred to spend my time with my friends basically because at the time I mostly barely use smartphones to listen music and this kind of stuff. Why? Because at that time my friends and my family motivated me to do physical activities because, the, because at that time I was very uh, fat and chubby. Why? Because I ate at that time I ate so many fast food because due to influence of my friends and after that we became health conscious 
uh, person and we prefer to work out in Mesir and Dunal after that. Have you ever attended a live concert? Well, not really because I'm from countryside. There's no craze of live concerts and this stuff. So I never um, attend any concert. Would you like to attend one? Well, I do. I most certainly I want to do because as I mentioned earlier, Eminem is my favorite uh, singer. So I want to attend his uh, concert. Well, that's the end of your speaking part one. In this part, I am going to give you a topic to speak on. You have to speak upon this topic for one or two minutes. You can make notes if you wish to and do not bother if I stop or interrupt you. Do you understand? Yes. Here is your paper and pencil and your topic is describe a piece of technology you find difficult to use. Uh, well, you may start now. Well, let me start by saying that as now technology is making a massive stride, so people use smartphones and TVs to get information. It become most reliable way to get information. If I talk about myself, I'm also glued to my smartphone I'm because I'm not an exception and tend to use my smartphone for various purposes such as study as well as for my entertainment. If I have to talk, uh, it is not like that. I'm always perfect in using smartphone. It was the time of um, uh, summer vacation of my 12th standard. At that time, I got my first smartphone because at that time, a couple of years ago, what hit by a COVID-19, which is a deadly virus. And uh, people were house arrested at that time because lockdown imposed the entire country. So they were not allowed to go out from their homes. So at that time, my most of uh, classes are on online. So, so I have to use smartphone well perfectly to you know, attend the classes. So uh, I got my smartphone which was Boko M4 Pro 5G which was very famous at that time and I bought that. Well I barely use my mother's smartphone at that time and I am use basically uh, apps like um, uh, Zoom and Treatment which was uh, study apps to attend classes and so many other things of uh, to getting information about academics. So when I got my smartphone, it was very difficult to use because there are so many applications and uh, functions to uh, operate. So I found it very difficult. Firstly, I whenever use uh, I use Zoom, which was uh, uh, online attending application. So I, I attend uh, my first classes on them, and there was particular uh, button for mic, and at that time I don't know that. So whenever my teacher asked me a question, I, I gave it all question, but my ma'am didn't listen it because I didn't own mic. So that was very embarrassing moment for me because my all of classmates were laughing at me. At me. And um, after that, my I, I very, become very desperate to use my smartphone very perfectly. So I watched so many YouTube videos to how to operate smartphone very perfectly. And well, I, thank you. That's the end. In this last round, I am going to ask you some general questions about this topic. So what kind of technology people usually use? Well, I think it depends on their need. Uh, if I talk about transportation, so people use automobiles such as cars and bikes to, and to, trans and to transport things. And if they have to communicate with others, so they use gadget, gadgets like smartphone and tablets to uh, communicate with others. Uh, from one place to other such as so my, for example they are international students so they communicate with their family through uh, smartphones and which is make them happier because they're living so far from their family well why do companies launch new products so frequently well there are so many reasons first and foremost for a reputation as in market to become stable in market with a good reputation is very difficult and companies like Apple and Google are and frequently launch their um, smartphones and gadgets to um, make people crazy about them and so people buy them so and as now iPhone become very uh, status icon so people prefer to click a selfie in front of mirror. Why do you think people buy iPhone even if the features do not change much? Well, I think it is just because of so people uh, consider materialistic wealth as a um, status icon. Why? Because materialistic wealth become now uh, people consider how rich people are with the help uh, with the 
uh, materialistic wealth if they have uh, sports cars and good uh, smartphones and this kind of stuff so people consider they are very rich and because nowadays uh, people are want to become rich and they um, make a role model for very uh, make what what do you think is the right age for a child to be given an access to the internet well nowadays there is no uh, particular age but if i have to if i have to prefer an age it have to be uh, 18 because at that time people almost become mature and they are able to attend the uh, repercussions and consequences of this kind of stuff and they are able to how to manage a smartphone and to their money in stock market and this kind of stuff why because uh, it is illegal if people uh, spend their money on a wrong way because they could they could get loss because there's so many applications of stock market available on internet so and so many people lose their money every day because without uh, they are not mature at the at much to uh, manage their money in these kind of sites so they lose their money what kind of technology do you think will people use in future well firstly future is unpredictable so there are now so many gadgets are available and in future um, i believe there are also so many uh, gadgets will available because technology is becoming sophisticated with each passing day and now in the past in the last 10 years it became so um, convenient up before that because people now don't have to go to bank they can transfer the, and receive their money from their home why because due to uh, advancement in apps like google pay and phone pay it is to become very easier without any difficulty they manage their money to give someone to and to accept from someone well thank you so much arpit that's the end of your ielts speaking test thank you